So you tried the Google Play Edition software on your HTC One and you're not completely satisfied. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Fuck It Now, and this is how you return your HTC One back to the stock software. We've talked about the reasons why you should give the Google Play Edition software a run on your HTC One, and there are some great reasons, like the ability to run pure, unadulterated stock Android on some of the best hardware Android has ever seen or simply because you can and it's worth trying firsthand. But say you tried it and you aren't a fan. The stock software does come at the expense of infrared, HTC's great camera software, and many more features. So how do you get those features back? How do you return your one to Sense? It's actually very simple. If you had no trouble getting the Google Play Edition ROM on your one, you'll have no trouble going back. First and foremost, if you took our advice and created an Android backup, like any responsible Android modder should, before flashing the Google Play Edition ROM, the process will be seamless and your device can be returned to the exact state it was in just days or hours ago. When you created an Android backup, what you were doing was creating an image of the software on the device at that given time. The apps, the app data, the home screen configuration, wallpaper, etc. To return to that very state, reboot the device into recovery mode. This can be done by plugging your phone into your computer and opening a terminal window and typing ADB Reboot Recovery or powering the phone down the manual way and holding the volume down button while you power it back on. Use the volume keys to highlight bootloader and the power button to select. Highlight recovery and select. Once recovery loads, create another backup if you want a system image of stock Android. Else perform a factory data reset and wipe the cache if you so wish, then highlight and select backup recovery. Select recovery and choose the proper backup image. Let this process run its course, and when the phone reboots, your phone should look exactly as it did before you chose to go to stock Android. If, however, you did not create a backup, you're still in luck. The only problem is that you will have to manually reinstall and re-log into all applications and set your device up from scratch. Head over to the XDA developers thread and download the flashable ROM of the stock HTC One firmware, linked in the description below. Once the download completes, move the file over to your device. This can be done in several ways, but the method I use is through terminal. Plug the phone into the computer once again, open a terminal window and type the command ADB push the name of the file forward slash SD card forward slash. This will take just over one minute to finish. And when it does, type ADB reboot recovery or manually reboot into recovery one more time. Perform a backup of the stock ROM if you so desire. Perform a factory data reset, wipe the cache partition and Dalvik cache under the advanced submenu, and select flash zip from SD card. Select choose file from SD card, locate the zip file and use the power button to select it, confirm the action, and let the flash process run its course. When it completes and the phone reboots, your one should be back to the stock sense software. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below, drop a comment, and click the subscribe button to see more videos like this one in the future. Follow us on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I'll see you next time.